Alright, one, two, three. Hey YouTube, it's Cookies here. I'm coming at you today with another video. My show's called Cookies for the Day. You know I sound real irritated right now because I just learned this news just exclusive. What happened? When was this? Like a couple of minutes ago or something? Somebody just got injured? Oh, I was soothing with me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The Chris Brown versus Drake, maybe Meek Mill incident, but... All three of them was there at a nightclub last night. It was not Club Greenhouse. It was some type of clubhouse named Will or what was the name? It was some, it was a nightclub in New York, basically. Everybody, who's, everybody was there. Mary J. Blige, um, Trey Songz, the whole MMG, including Wale, Tiana Taylor, Neo, um, Everybody was there. Chris Brown and Drake apparently was there too. Um, so all three of them's there. They are in separate VIP sections, mind you. Dr um, Chris Brown knew they were there, so he sent them a um. He sent Drake a bottle, I guess to say we're all good, or to say that I have more money than you, I can buy it. I don't. I just wouldn't say it. If I don't like somebody, why would I send somebody a drink? If I don't like somebody. I wouldn't do anything. I would just mind my own business. You know what I mean? But apparently, ignorant old Chris Brown himself, he went over there. He gave Drake the bottle. Drake took it in offense, came over there with his security guards. Ooh, security guards. He ain't going to do that. Anyway, let me he went over there with his security guards saying, what's up? What's up? What's all good? You want to you wanna go? You want to go? Like, what you going to do? Um... The camps, both of the security guards were starting to, you know, get all up in each other's faces and whatever. And push came to shove, a bottle was thrown. That's how the start, the fight happened. Now, who threw the bottle? Was it Drake or Meek Mill? Because some people, the so not some people, but a person who is one of the club promoters or somebody that was um, in the club while it happened that is um, that takes part ownerships or an employee. They wrote on their Twitter account that it was Meek Mill who threw the bottle. Meek Mill said he didn't throw it. Drake said he didn't throw it either, but it was one of the two. I don't think it's Drake because Drake don't got the balls to. He would probably walk there with his security guards to um, Chris Brown's camp, but he wouldn't have the balls to throw no bottle. And um, Chris, not Chris, um, Meek Mill, I think he would do it. But at the same time, who bottle did he throw? Did he throw his own? I don't know. But that's what happened. That's how the two star wrecking. The club got shut down. Everybody was um leaving the club. You there's a f small footage a footage in um bossup dot com showing that um all of them was leaving the club. Chris Brown was taking off his shirt, acting like he was still mad, wanted to fight the whole world and whatnot. You're not gonna get no chance to fight them. Everybody's escorting everybody out. So that's exactly what happened. I'm going by this real quick because I want to go in. Why? Because a 24-year-old Australian tourist who went to the club, that's what the club's called, WIP, W-I-P. Um, she got hurt and bloody. It's on TMZ.com. And they said the brawl exploded between Drake and um, Chris Brown's entourage. Okay, I already said that. But she, if you see her face, oh my, it looks worse than Chris, uh, Rihanna's face when she got battered by Chris. But it just looks so bad. Like, you could tell when the bottle smashed in Chris' um, jaw. Because y'all saw how that picture looked when um, Chris tweeted. You could tell the bottle must have smashed. And it must have broken to pieces. And bits and pieces must have shattered and flew through everybody else. If I was that girl, Sue, what is her name? Her name is Holly. Holly C. 24 year old Australian girl sue girl sue if it was me oh I would sue all their money's worth girl tell them you need to pay for the rest of your life all their deaths your mother's and your father's death too if they got any uh, um, pay off their college tuition all that because her face looked terrible you guys oh my gosh and you know TMZ they don't really lie when it comes to most things some things they do lie but most things you know you hear for them from them first so I'm so upset right now that don't throw a bottle in the club. Why don't you throw hands? That's the best tool ever. If you want to fight, throw hands or whatever. Chris Brown, he's wrecking on Twitter because that's how you know the whole story because Chris Brown's saying that and whatever. 
And you know how Chris Brown, he's so ignorant. He had to go on Twitter and um, discuss this too, talking about, oh my gosh, somebody went in the bathroom. You in the bathroom though. And um, what's it called? He in the bathroom. I guess that refers to Drake. So one of the security guards and whatnot pushed him in the bathroom. And um, other than that, what else happened? He pushed him in the bathroom. Somebody else got pushed to some other corner too. It was just a mess, you guys. And now I want to talk about them. Dear Chris Brown, you are in a relationship. You guys, I don't know about you, but I think that Chris Brown just had that relationship now just to prove that he's happily in a relationship. I don't even think he loved Ketchup, whatever her name is. I really don't think he loved her no more. The fact that you still find over a girl that's not yours that you've been in a relationship with three years ago, you may on and off, may have seen each other, went past each other, seen each other, been in the same club with each other, wrote a song together, whatever. Who cares? You're not dating her. You're not smashing her. You're not hitting her allegedly you already said they're not doing that me and my girlfriend is happily together it's a one year anniversary that you guys been together and you still claiming Rihanna as yours get over it have a seat get your life together get your life Chris Brown for you to still be claiming Rihanna as yours get your life she is community box I wrote that on Twitter already anybody who's anybody in the game smashed her already you're not the only one you're not the first and you certainly won't be the last you were the first big one I'm sure they were saying even a rumor you know the rumor is that how Rihanna got in the game. It was because uh, you know what happened. Uh, she allegedly was smashing. Uh, what's it call it? Um, what happened? She was allegedly smashing um, Jay Z or Kanye. One of them. But she been with everybody, you guys. Like Chris sounded just real on Twitter right now. I'm just like, what's going on? Why are you always on Twitter talking about your beats? You go in on the biggest person from. Um, to Drake to the smallest irrelevant person like uh, Raz B. Like, are you serious? Why are you always going in on people on Twitter? Somebody, please, somebody that loves Chris Brown, please just drag him off of Twitter. Shut down his Twitter account. Do something because this is just too much. You going on 23, 24 years old, you still beefing with people on Twitter. I won't be surprised if you beef on, with somebody on Twitter about somebody down the street saying that person just flipped me off. Oh my gosh. You know, you sound as ignorant as Ray J did outside the club, because that's what he sound like, y'all. This is what happened to Ray J. This is what he sound like. You, you want to disrespect me and the money team? And we got seven Rolls Royces outside, and we just made 350 racks on the... Don't disrespect me. I'm going to smack you up again, fool. That's what he sound like. Don't he sound like that, y'all? He sound just like that. Ignorant as hell. Ignorant as ever. But all y'all need to get together. I'm just so over it, you guys. I'm just... Done. I'm done. I can't believe Chris Brown would be writing on Twitter about all this stuff. Oh, you got and stop deleting stuff off Twitter. We already got it. As soon as you put it on Twitter and you delete it, we already see it already. People already go snap pictures of it. People already know you read it already. Like, stop it. it. It makes you look even more whack. It makes you look even more silly. It makes you look like you really not going to do nothing. You really bad about that life. You really not going to smack nobody in the face. Like, come on now. You deleting stuff off Twitter. What's the point of that? Like, really, what's the point of that? People are already going to talk about what you wrote on Twitter already. It's already been written. It's already been tweeted. Stop deleting it. It makes you look whack. All three of y'all makes y'all look whack. I'm done, you guys. I'm really done. Come on. My thing is the fact that Chris Brown, get over it. That's my pen letter to you. Now I'm moving on to Drake. Dear Drake, get over it too. The fact that you come, you are not bad. You are not bad. You're not about that life. Everybody's saying that you're not about that life, Drake. Stop it. Stop it. If it was you who really threw the bottle, stop it. And I want that Holly C girl to pay you. You need to pay her up all your money's worth, too. All y'all need to. But whoever threw the bottle, too, sue, girl, sue. Anyway, you're not about that life, Drake. You know you're not about that life. So why in the world, why in the world are you, um... Trying to go up there with a bunch of security guards and stuff like that. Like, get over yourself. Get over yourself. Rihanna's not yours either, boo. Rihanna's not yours either. You see how she already smashed uh, Meek Mill, allegedly. She smashed him too. Rihanna's not yours. I mean, she may have went back to your party and whatever, start chilling with you. But me said him, stop you chilling with her or whatever. Ugh. Dear Meek Mill, if it was you who threw the bottle, you know you're not making that millions like you sh that that you want to be making yet. 
Ooh, your money gone, boo. Your money gone. Because the fact that you threw that bottle, of course the club is upset and they're pissed because you, the girl wrote it on Twitter herself. How dare you, Meek Mill, do that, whatever. Um, but for you, Meek Mill, get over her, please. 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 Now, dear Rihanna, because I need to get on her. The fact that you went low enough. I'm not trying to say Meek Mill is a low guy. He's up in the game right now. He's like one of the illest rappers out there, the hottest rappers out there, especially he's part of Made Mac Music with not. But he don't have all his stamps yet, you know, Rihanna. He's not like, he don't ha he's not top bread material. I understand you want to hit it and move on to other people, but at the same time, Meek Mills, you might as well do... All the other dudes that just got into the game, like, come on, seriously. <sighs> Rihanna, this is why a lot of people have issues and beef with you. Especially when it comes to the Caribbean people. Like, Caribbean people, it's like half and half respect you. They respect you because you, you got some music out. I'm not saying your music suck. You suck as a singer, but your music is good. It's cute. But a lot of people don't respect you because you're loose, honey. You're real, real loose. You need to you need to tighten that up. You need to do something about that. I know you're single. I know you're free, and I know you got money, so you can do whatever you want to do. But at the same time, let this be a lesson to you. The fact that your box is trending on Twitter this morning, the fact that people is going off on you saying that you got community box. Who cares? Anybody can hit you these days. Anybody can hit you up, smash you, uh, talk about you the next day. Anybody can do all that. And for you to not care as a woman, you're not even a woman anymore. You're just a broad. You're just a dumb broad to me. The fact that you don't care. These men are going in on you right now. They fight over you, but they still going in on you. Say, oh, that's your hoe. That's our hoe, too. The fact that these people are saying this to you, you need to figure out what your worth is, Rihanna, because you have more money than all three of them. I don't think, no, if it's combined. It might be combined. It might. But you have more money than all three of them, and you stooping down to, to sleep with them. I don't care how hot they are. You're the hottest in the game right now. And the fact that you're the highest in the game right now is because of your music, but the other half is because of your, your relationships and who you slept with. That's not cute. It's not. Yes, you can do whatever you want. You can wear whatever you want. You can say F you on Twitter and stuff like that. And you can get into arguments with people like that. But at the end of the day, Rihanna, respect yourself. If you don't respect anybody, if you don't care about anybody, care about yourself at the end of the day. Because you should have worth. You should you should be better than that. You are 24 years old right now. These grown men, Drake 25, Meek Mill 25, 26, uh, Chris is 23. These grown men are arguing over you. Who hit you? They arguing like whose pipe is bigger? Who pipe hit it the most? Who did the most to each other? They're arguing like that and it's all because of you. At the end of the day, does that make you happy? Does that make anybody happy to have people to be fighting over them? Like you look real sorry right now. I don't I, I don't I don't like I don't like your look right now. I really don't. I think you need some tough love. I think you need somebody to just hold you in. I, I think you need prayer right now because the fact that these men are going in on you like this, it's not cute at all. Chris Brown, get your life. Meek Mill, get your life. You just came in the game, boo. You just came in the game. Like, come on, get it together. Stop going saying you hit the baddest women already, stuff like that. It's not cute. And all three of them have allegedly... it. Are in a relationship. Drake's allegedly in a relationship with somebody that he um, already um, first got in a relationship with. Meek Mill's allegedly still together with his baby mama. We already know Chris is in a relationship all public and whatever. Why are you guys fighting over a woman that do not give a F about each and every one of you? I doubt, she, I highly doubt she care about you guys. I highly doubt it. Dre, just because she hanging out with you don't mean she don't hang out with somebody else. She hang out with Ashton Kutcher a couple of months back. Like, it'll be hit it to the next. That's exactly what it is. For so when you got to be fine over her, stop it. It's making you look sad. Really, really sad. Like, that's the best thing that ever happened to you since sliced bread. Get over yourself. All you guys get over yourself. If you agree with me, follow me on Twitter at uh, CookieBaby23. Like, thumbs up this video, you guys. I want to see thumbs up as possible. I'm over it, you guys. I'm really over it. That Holly C girl that got hurt, please sue. Please sue, girl. Sue. Rihanna, tighten it up. Type it up, because at the end of the day, anybody can be hot so long. Who wants to look at back at themselves like you lose?
Who wants the name loose tatted on their forehead? Because that's what you are right now. You are. You community box right now. Anybody can hit you and, and miss you right now. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody ran a train on you right now. And I know that's nothing good coming out of me. But look at yourself. Look at your image. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be like that. Like, get it together. Get some prayer. You need Jesus. You need help, son. You need help. I'm out, you guys. Like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, CookieBaby23. Bye.